More local governments are requiring people to wear face coverings in public and the latest to jump on the bandwagon, Pima County. As News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink tells us, it's the latest step by the county to try and curb the fast spread of COVID-19 here in Arizona. Some in Pima County seeing this as an assault on personal freedoms. One imploring the board to do this for her doctors and nurses on the front lines battling the virus. In the end, the vote was narrow and the mandate was given. The Pima County Board of Supervisors voted three to two Friday afternoon to mandate masks in public immediately. Angela Nitka doesn't like it. Well, I believe this is an assault on our civil liberties. I believe it takes the power away from uh, a populace who has brains. Julia Strange works at Tucson Medical Center. She strongly encouraged the board to approve this mandate to try and help the health care workers in our state who see just how punishing this virus can be every day. Our COVID dedicated ICUs have been at capacity all week. These critically ill patients, these individuals who have family and friends will be with us for a long time because when they, when this illness hits, it is devastating. Enforcement will be primarily educational. Board Chairman Ramon Valadez says he doesn't like wearing a face mask, but he says he wears one to protect others. And he says as the numbers surge. The only way we can watch out and protect each other is if we all wear masks. And, and if we don't, someone, uh, someone that gets COVID-19 and God forbid has something bad, very bad happen to them, could be someone we love. Let's not do that. Tonight, the town of Sawaricha says it won't mandate face coverings, but because this is a countywide mandate, what the board says goes. We've got you covered. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. There are a few exceptions to the Pima County mask mandate. Children under the age of five do not need to wear one. Those who have a medical condition that does not allow them to tolerate wearing a mask. People eating at a restaurant don't have to wear one. People exercising or working outside and people who live together and they're in public together. Those are just a few exceptions and there are more you can find on our website, kvoa.com.